Hello Collective, I hope everyone is doing well and happy holidays. This will be kind of like a timeless reading, so anytime it's winter, this reading should be able to resonate. I've kind of done similar readings before, like Christmas theme readings. Um, so if you guys want to go back and look at those or search those up, you're welcome to. Um, those are also timeless in a way. <laughs> it's like sometimes I do these holiday readings and they're for the holidays, but they're also timeless for when the holidays come back around again too. So if that makes sense. So this is going to be about what are you manifesting for Yule? What are you receiving for Yule? What is the universe blessing you for Yule. And for those that are not familiar with Yule, it's kind of like Christmas. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so for pile number one, you will be this glitter white uh, pine cone candle for pile number one. Can't really see the glitter on it, but it's so bright right now. <laughs> so that's for pile number one. Pile number two, you guys are going to be the Yule Incense Sticks. So the Yule Incense Sticks for pile number two. It's Bayberry and Evergreens. I don't want to light some of this now, honestly. I don't know where my incense holder is, though. But the Yule Incense for pile number two. And pile number three, you guys are going to be the Yule Card with the Yule Oil. So the Yule Card oracle card with the yule ritual oil for pile number three so go ahead and choose which item you feel most intuitively drawn to is it the candle is it the incense sticks is it the ritual oil with the oracle card uh let me know down below go ahead and pick your pile and we're gonna go ahead and get into your reading so welcome those who chose the white glittery uh pine cone candle this is gonna be your Yule reading. So let's see what you're manifesting for Yule. So what is pile number one manifesting for Yule? What is pile number one manifesting for Yule, please spirit? Uh, for those that don't know, Yule will be on December 21st. So this is something that should manifest by December 21st or sometime after December 21st. Um, I will also be doing a group ritual, a Yule group ritual on December 21st as well. And spots are still available for that. So what is pile number two manifesting for Yule? I mean, what is pile number one manifesting for Yule? What is pile number one manifesting for Yule? High Priestess, King of Cups. King of Swords and Nine of Cups. So this is a wish come true. I'm hearing multiple wishes come true. So multiple wishes that you have are going to be coming true for you. This could be with love. This could be with money. This could be with both. Um, some of you are manifesting a supportive romantic partner. Uh, some of you are manifesting a management position um, or a higher position at your job, a supervisor position, something like that. You're going to be made into a leader. So I'm seeing you manifest more money. I'm seeing you manifest a better position, a more powerful position with work. Some of you, I'm seeing you manifest a supportive romantic partner. I'm also hearing Secret Santa. So some of you may receive a Secret Santa type of gift or um, a gift that doesn't like have a tag on it. Like, so some of you may receive a gift and it doesn't say who it's from. So it's giving me like Secret Santa type of vibes. <laughs> Let's see what else comes out. I'm gonna be using this Oracle deck. This is the Festive Insight Oracle deck that I got off of Etsy from Fire Witch Tarot. Keep climbing. You're on the way to the top, okay? Told you, you guys are climbing the ladder at work. We also have Gingerbread House, a sweet place to call home. Some of you are manifesting a home, a house, a new home, um, home decor, maybe like home renovations or something like that. 
Um, we have black and white, happier, and the gray. And we have full bag baby. Once empty will now be full. So some of you may have felt like a bag has been empty. Maybe this is your money, your finances, your opportunities, um, something like that. But your bag is about to be full of goodies, of money, of finances, of opportunities here. Um, you're going to be feeling very abundant come Yule time. And something's going on. Some of you could be a gray witch. Okay, you could consider yourself a gray witch, but you don't have to. But something about you're happier in the gray. Like you're not going to be having this black and white thinking when it comes to money or love or a job. Um, you're going to be somewhere in the gray area with these things. Uh, some of you are going to be able to do what you want to with your home, your house, your property. And like I said, some of you may be receiving a home, getting a home, buying a home, renting a home. But you're definitely climbing some sort of ladder. Some of you, you're climbing the ladder at work. Some of you are climbing the ladder when it comes to like a tax bracket that you're in. Um, something along those lines. Okay, we have snow globe. It says, get out of your comfort zone. Okay, so a lot of you, this is going to manifest when you get out of your comfort zone. Maybe um, you're trying to get out of your comfort zone currently or during Yule time or after Yule time. Um, but you'll be able to get out of your comfort zone. Some of you are going to be getting out of your comfort zone and traveling the globe, traveling the world. Ooh, where are you going? We have talking, or no, taking the lead. I, confirmation. I, you guys are going to be getting a leadership position or a supervisor position. It also says inspiring others to do the same. So you're taking the lead at work and you're inspiring other people at work to like be the same as you or have the same work ethic as you or to think like you or to notice things like you. Something along those lines. Like you were... You're like being an example to people. You're showing people how it needs to be done, how a certain job needs to be done. And you're doing well at doing so. Like you're setting a good example at work or within your business um, or at school or something like that. But you're inspiring other people to really take your lead here. I don't know why it's making me think of uh Rudolph as well you know like they made fun of Rudolph the other reindeers would make fun of Rudolph and then Rudolph ended up being the lead reindeer of the pack you know it was like Santa's favorite pretty much so maybe for some of you you've had people make fun of you or try to get you in trouble or just bully you or poke at you or something like that just for you to end up in some sort of leadership position or the boss's favorite or something like that you know what I mean so that's everything I'm seeing for pile one it's really good reading I'm liking the energy in this one okay I love you guys so much and uh, we are going to move on to pile number two if you enjoy the reading be sure to like comment subscribe it helps out the channel don't forget we do have spots available for the Yule group ritual coming up in like two more days um, and yeah, that's everything. Love you guys so much. And we are going to move on to pile number two. Welcome pile number twos. If you chose the Yule incense sticks, this is going to be your timeless reading on what are you manifesting for Yule or, you know, around Christmas time of whatever, whichever you celebrate or whatever holiday you guys celebrate. But what are you guys manifesting around December 21st? right after December 21st for pile number two please spirit okay we have the hair font interesting <laughs> it looks like five of wands snowball fight I love how they're doing a snowball fight in this one <laughs> And we have Queen of Cups. And this looks like five, six, seven, eight, eight of Pentacles. All right, let's see what's going on. So I, I, the Five of Wands is what's sticking out to me the most because like, 
somebody's trying to challenge you but this is a snowball fight so it's like it's not much of a challenge so there's a person or people that's trying to challenge you or cause obstacles for you but it's like it's a freaking snowball fight like what are what are you gonna do with a ball of snow you know what i mean like so <laughs> whatever obstacle or challenge they're trying to create for you come yule time it's something that's just gonna melt away very quickly it's gonna go away very quickly or it's not really going to affect you um so i don't know this also gives me the energy of like a pillow fight like it's something about this fighting or arguing is so like it's not I, I don't know how to describe it like it's not very hurtful or it's not very damaging or something about it's just stupid or silly or it's childish or i, I don't know it's <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's not usually when I see five of wands, I'm kind of concerned, but this is like such a dumb energy. Like, I feel like whoever's trying to cause challenges or obstacles or people trying to fight with you, they're just going to feel stupid uh, because these obstacles or these challenges are going to melt away very quickly or it's not very damaging to you or not very hurtful to you or something like that. Okay. I'm also seeing where you guys are going to be very traditional, okay? You guys give me gift giver type of vibes. Maybe you're the type that loves to give gifts uh, during the holidays, but I'm seeing you guys like hand out gifts to people or kids. Um, I just get this energy that you're a huge giver. So something about this, this Yule time, you're going to be able to give to people, give gifts to people, um, show love and support to people during this time. So, yeah, I feel like some of you may definitely be playing Santa Claus, okay? Like, even if you don't have kids, there's just something, there's a Santa Claus energy about you, or, um, like, you're just a really good gift giver. Some of you, you could be giving to charities, like, um, like that Toys for Tots type of thing, um, because it is the hair font. So, some of you may be helping out, um, children, giving gifts to children that, don't really have the means to be receiving gifts, uh, kids in need or something, um, or giving gifts to like kids in hospitals during this time or something like that. Either way, you guys are gonna be giving gifts to like your family members, your coworkers or charities or something like that. You're gonna have the resources and the abilities to give these type of things to people. Okay. Um, now it, flip this around okay if you feel like you're not in that type of situation you could be receiving some sort of donation or help so if you're not in a position to be gift giving you could be receiving some sort of help from a charity a, um, a church or something like that um, or someone's going to come in to help you um, if you're needing to get gifts for your kids or something like that so flip the script around if need be seeing different scenarios for different people okay I'm just seeing you be very nurturing, very supportive at this time as well. Um, if you have multiple children, your children could be arguing with each other during this during these holidays. Okay, if you have more than one child, they could be arguing. Like I'm seeing like sibling rival rivalries and stuff like that. Or heck, some of you could be grown. Some of you could be grown adults and you could have like a brother or a sister or siblings trying to rival with you during the holidays, okay? So if it's not like your own kids, it could be between you and your siblings. I'm also seeing where like people are trying to fight over this cup. Like you're a very nurturing person. You're very nurturing, giving, supportive. But it's like a lot of people are trying to fight for that energy when it comes to you as well. It's like you embody this this queen of cups and this hair font energy and you have this big cup of love or you have this big bag of gifts and it's like people are like fighting over who you're going to support or who you're going to give to so for some of you that could resonate um if the other messages don't resonate that could be another scenario as well where people are fighting um each other over something that you want to give um so different messages for different people uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you could also be receiving a bonus, okay, like a Christmas bonus, um, some extra money on your check, or some extra tips, or some high-paying, high-tipping customers, or something like that for the holidays. 
Um, so I feel like things are going well within your workplace. Like you're going to be giving like a bonus or extra money on your check or something like that. Or you may get a high tipping customer. Okay. So let's see what else comes out for pile number two. Love it. Okay, we have full bag baby. Once empty will now be full. This also came out in pile number one as well. So you guys, you're going to be filling up what's been empty. Okay, I also feel like you're going to be filling up your own cup as well. Like you're somebody with that hair font and the queen of cups. You're somebody and the eight of pentacles. You're somebody who works really hard in order to give to others or to nurture people. And I still feel like you're going to be doing that, but you're also going to find time to fill up your own cup as well, to support yourself, to nurture yourself as well. So whatever's empty, whatever cup is empty in your life will now be full, okay? We also have snowman love, a temporary connection. So some of you may have a temporary connection. This could be a booty call. This could be like a thing where you hook up with someone for the holidays and then you don't really hook up with them again. I don't know, but something is going on that's a temporary connection. But I get this weird feeling like it's not something that would upset you. Either this is something that's consensual, like you're okay with it being te uh, temporary or you're okay with it being a friends with benefits type of thing or one once one time type of thing or um, I don't know, but I feel like whatever it is, it may be consensual. So I don't feel like it's something that's really going to hurt your feelings. Um, or... I'm getting the message that a temporary connection could be resurfacing, okay? So someone that you, there's another scenario I'm seeing where someone from the past that you had a temporary connection with could be resurfacing and wanting to come towards you. So different messages for different people. Um, we have releasing ties. It's time to cut ties with people. <laughs> um, and we have don't be afraid, let go of fear and go after your dreams, and it is below the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, you're going to be working very hard to go after your dreams during this time. But I do feel like there's somebody you want to release, okay? there This could be a temporary connection that is resurfacing, that's coming back around. And you're kind of like not wanting to be involved in it or you're wanting to release this person. Um, this could be someone that's also trying to put you in a third-party situation. For someone very specific, I'm getting, I'm hearing um, polyamorous. Okay. For some of you, there could be a polyamorous couple that is trying to connect with some of you. I don't know. I'm getting weird messages, like, because I'm getting different messages. I'm seeing so many different scenarios, but there's, there's some sort of people you need to cut ties with. And it's, it's a person that you had a temporary connection with and either they had someone else or they were putting you in a third party situation, or this could have been like a polyamorous person or couple or something like that. I don't know, but Spirit's saying to cut ties with them. Something just fell. So, confirmation. Um, but that's everything I'm seeing for pile number two. If you guys enjoy the reading, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel. And there are still spots available for the Yule group ritual coming up on December 21st for those that are interested. And we're going to move on to pile number three. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Hello, pile number four. I love just ringing the little jingle bell. It's so cute. For those of you that chose the Yule Ritual Oil with the Yule Oracle card, this is going to be your timeless reading on what are you manifesting for this Yule or for this Christmas time, um, for these holidays. What are you guys manifesting for pile number three? What is pile number three manifesting, please, spirit? Okay. Three of Pentacles. The Fool. The Empress. And Will of Fortune. 
So you guys, you're manifesting a collaboration or some sort of teamwork is going to manifest for you. Um, you're manifesting some sort of craftsmanship. Um, something you're doing is has a lot of quality to it. Um, you're a very skilled person, so you could be sharpening up on your skills. Uh, you could be working with others or collaborating with others in order to sharpen up your skills here. Or you could, I'm hearing showcase your skills, like something about you could be showcasing your skills to other people. Like some people are seeing what you're skilled in, what you're doing, your quality, work, everything like that. Um, I'm also hearing now's the time to be hopeful, to be wishful, to make wishes, to have hope, to have faith, because for some of you, you're going to be taking a chance on yourself and it's going to be very beneficial to your life or there's someone around you, they're going to take a chance on you, um, which is very possible with the three of pentacles. So somebody is either going to take a chance on you or you will be taking a chance on yourself. And whatever this is, this leap of faith is going to be benefiting your life because you have the Empress and the Will of Fortune out. So for some of you, this could be a new job, a new path in life, a new business, a new idea, something, okay? But take advantage of this new beginning or whatever this is, okay? And for a lot of you with the Empress card, this could be a business. This could be you being self-employed or starting a business or starting some sort of project or hobby that ends up uh, creating finances for you. Uh, this is you creating something that's going to really be in your favor. So you will be create, creating something that will be in your favor. It's going to be turning the wheel of fortune for you. Whatever this is, I'm hearing you're going to, whatever you manifest during this holiday season, something about from this holiday season all the way to Easter time, which is in April, Something about December to April is very beneficial to you or, some, or if you're like creating something. So if you're creating something between December and April, it's going to be very beneficial to you or you're manifesting something big between December and April. Because I'm seeing all these rabbits here and it's making me think of Easter down here on the Emperor's card. But this is good luck coming to you. The will is turning. Fortune is in your favor. I'm hearing fortune favors the bold. I know a lot of people say that. But you are going to be bold with the fool. You got to take advantage of this, whatever this thing is that's new. Or this chance or this opportunity or this idea or this creation. It's going to be bold. And fortune favors the bold. And then fortune will be turning in your favor here. Uh, for someone very specific, okay, if you play any type of lottery or scratch-offs, okay, this could be a sign to to play lottery or to play a scratch-off or something um, between December 21st to December 25th. But this is, overall, this is a turning point in your life. This is a huge, huge turning point in your life. I feel like the the year to come, the year that's coming up for you is going to be a big year for you. It really will be. Um, so let's see what else comes out. I'm going to be using this Festive Inside Oracle deck by Fire Witch Tarot on Etsy. Feeling sexy. Your inner sexy will be triggered and activated. So you're going to be feeling sexy. You're going to be feeling yourself. You're going to be feeling really good. Very attractive during this time. Okay, some of you, I'm hearing a haircut, um, like hair coloring, a haircut, a hair styling, um, a new wardrobe, a new dress. I'm seeing like a new coat, a new robe, something like you guys are going to be feeling yourself. Okay, we have spiritual beliefs. Love is the main power. So some of you are going to fall in love with some sort of belief system. This could be a spiritual belief system. This could be a religious belief system, something. But you're going to fall in love with whatever this belief system is. And I feel like it's going to help you manifest a lot as well with whatever belief system this is. Okay, we have phone call. Finally, communication. So some of you are going to receive a phone call during this time. 
could be a phone call from a lover, a phone call from a job interview, a phone call from someone you haven't heard from a long time. Either way, this phone call is going to make you happy. So some sort of phone call is coming in for you. I'm also hearing getting approved for something. So if you're trying to get approved for something, you may get a phone call or a text that you're getting approved for something. Uh, we have twin flames unite. You will come into union, okay? And then we have Jack and Sally. Someone could be a Nightmare Before Christmas fan. Um, if you believe in the twin flames, that's fine. Just make sure you don't fall into, like, the toxic trap of the whole twin flame thing. Um, but you could be... Um, coming into union with a twin flame here or a soulmate or something like that and we have hold on my dear our time is near Ooh, your time is near when it comes to somebody okay you're feeling sexy we got the feeling sexy card the twin flames unite phone call our time is near something some sort of love is coming in for you or some sort of sexy times are coming in for you. Okay, the bells ring. Something is coming or about to happen. A warning, take heed, be aware. What? The bells ring. A warning, take heed, beware. Maybe some of you need to be aware of... Because a phone call makes your phone ring, okay? Makes your cell phone ring and it says the bells ring. So for some of you, you may receive a phone call that is trying to warn you of something. Okay, so for some of you, you need to make sure you're answering your phone or your text messages. So, because for some of you, you may receive a phone call or a text message that is trying to warn you of something or to make you, uh, make you aware of something. Good times ahead, planning trips and adventures. So some of you could be going on a vacation, a road trip. Um, even if it's just like a little day trip, it doesn't matter. Like So some, some, some sort of adventure or trip is ahead or you could be planning one, okay? So that's everything for um, Paul. Number three, I'm still kind of like focused on this. Like what is this about? I kind of want to know what this warning is about. I mean, it could be different for everyone, but some of you may receive communication that could warn you of something. What's the warning about? What's the communication of the warning about? Okay, we have Ace of Pentacles. So this could be a warning about your job or a warning about some sort of money or investments or stocks, bonds. It could be about a promotion or raise. Um, it could be about a job interview or something. Why would that be a warning though? Take heed, be aware warning with Ace of Pentacles. What is this about spirit? The fool? Wait, what? Wait, what? There's two fool cards in here. What the heck? There's two freaking fool cards. I guess it was an accident, but this is insane right now. Huh. This is like a brand new deck. This is like a Christmas deck that I got recently. That is very interesting. So the fool came out twice. So you could get some kind of warning when it comes to maybe um, taking a adventure or something. I'm hearing of a freeze warning. Okay, for some of you, this warning on your phone is like some sort of weather alert. Okay, or it's a financial alert. Some of you may get a financial alert that your bank has been frozen or money has been frozen or something and you may have to call them to correct it or they may be calling you or something for others of you you may get some sort of alert on your phone that's warning you of like snow or blizzard or ice on the roads or something like that so be 
alert with those things or be make sure you're checking the weather or that you have like weather alerts on your phone or something like that um because something weird could be going on with snow blizzard ice something like that hell snowstorm something yeah especially if you're traveling so if you guys are traveling for the holidays or visiting family for the holidays just make sure i'm hearing make sure you have weather alerts on or something like that or be careful of ice on the roads so that's everything i'm seeing yeah because for a lot of you i feel like you're going to be traveling or vacationing or visiting family or you could just be going on a road trip or something so be careful of any type of weather um also be careful of like your bank being frozen like for an example, like if I travel out of state, I always have to call my bank to let them know because if I make a transaction out of state, they like instantly freeze my account. So I always have to let them know beforehand when I travel. So maybe some of you need to do that. I don't know, but um, that's everything I'm seeing for this reading. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. And also we do have spots available for the Yule group ritual on the 21st. Um, so spots are still available for that. Um, but that is everything for this reading, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.